What's good, YouTube? It's Aquarius Leviathan Prophecy, and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, this time, I'm going to be reacting to my favorite NBA voiceovers, Legends, Old School Legends Edition. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the like button. Please ring that notification bell. By, by Black Friday, by the time Black Friday arrives, I should have my own laptop. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, by Black Friday, I should have my own laptop. Uh, so, yeah. So, I don't have to be using my tablet. So, yeah. Let's get it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, obviously, uh, like I said, uh, I got three chances not to laugh. If I laugh all three, I lose. If I laugh once and I pass, then okay. If I laugh twice, okay. Yeah, so basically I have three chances. So if I laugh twice, I still win, but I lo if I lose all three, if I laugh all three times, I lose. So, yeah. <clears throat> ah, this shit's gonna be mad funny. Hope I don't laugh, man. Hold on, let me make the screen bigger. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Wow. Give him tech in the nineties, huh? They still salty. Yeah. Had to be Kanye West. It's licorice. We don't call them Twizzlers, we call them licorice. Dennis, that's not even fun. This is exactly this is exactly what happens when you don't have a father figure in your life. You turn up to be Dennis Rodman. Hey, I respect him as a player, but as a person, hell no. He'd be saying the most wildest and craziest shit. He's like freaking Kanye West. Little brother, you know what I'm saying? Like wearing the damn dress, uh, like wearing the damn dress, like. But you know, I can't really judge nobody because you know I'm not in his shoes, you know. Uh, so you know, I mean, I, I'm sure he's a pretty good guy if you meet him in person. But he be, he be saying the most wildest stuff, yo. Like what he said right now, like. Why would you even say that? Michael Jordan is not even remotely gay. 
the way he be sticking out his tongue, I know, like, ah, uh, I don't even want to repeat it, but let's go. Oh yeah, this is when uh, Eric Gordon put a diss track on Dwayne Wade. Dude, just let it go, bro. It's a dunk contest. You don't win no ring for no damn dunk contest. The only shit you win is a damn trophy. You know how many people got snubbed in that contest? So now, so now he's saying that he's done. He's not doing it no more. He's just focusing on the three-point contest now. Because that right there, the three-point contest is different from the slam dunk contest. You know what I'm saying? It's the same judges, but they base you on you know how many how many shots you make. You know what I'm saying? It's more, it's more of a limit. It's more of a elimination. Game. Mind me, both of them are elimination games, but but the three-point shooting contest uh, it determines um, how many shots you you rack up. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you get the money balls and you get the, you know, the the normal balls, which is, like, worth a point, you know. But the money balls, I think, worth, like, five or ten points, if I'm mistaken. So, uh, so yeah. So, basically, he, he Eric Gordon will have a better chance in the three-point contest than he would, than he would in, uh, you know, in the you know slam dunk contest, but just let it go, Gordon. I'm this close of laughing, man. I can't. How you win MVP in the All Star game? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. No, my, my bad, my bad. I thought we was talking about regular season MVP. The damn freaking Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard robot. Wow. Wow, your mama never had a ring. Okay, I, I, I laughed once. I laughed once. So I did pass. Um, damn it. I was trying to go perfect, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Um, 
I don't know, you know. Uh, come to think about it, LeBron James started it all, you know. Uh, I think he, you know, I think he laid out a blue a blueprint for 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 people to, you know, because he's the he obviously he was a he was the first not the first person, but you know, in that time frame, he you you know obviously took his talents to Miami. So you know, like, why would LeBron James be mad at you know? KD for doing that, you know what I'm saying? Because if KD won, wind up joining LeBron, it would have been a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if, if it would have been that. I don't know if it was going to be that competitive, you know, KD and LeBron James on the same team. But obviously, you know, it would, you know, boost the ratings, obviously. And it would put a lot of people butts and seats, you know what I'm saying, so, um, yeah, so basically, that's just how, um, you know, I think that's just how it was, or that's how it goes, so, you know, you can't be mad at KD for doing that, but then again, people might say, oh, well, you know, KD, you know, LeBron James joined Miami Heat. With Bosch and Wade, you know what I'm saying, but that wasn't really a super super team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a stacked team, but it wasn't a super team. You know, but when KD joined Draymond and and um, when KD joined Draymond and Steph and Clay, they were. They, I mean, they was already souped up. You know what I'm saying? So he just added more firepower to that team. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like. You joined the team, but it was already stacked. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you join the team that beat you in the same, you know, you know, the same time period? You know what I'm saying? Like, they beat you in the playoffs, and then you joined them. Instead of just figuring out, okay, uh, y'all get some new people in here so me and Westbrook can, you know, exercise our demons and, you know, try to, you know, you know make this team better. No. You left, you left, and then you joined a already stacked team that didn't even really need you, to be honest with you. I think, you know, without KD, I think the Warriors were still, would have still beaten the Cavaliers, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think KD would have made a difference, but, um, yeah, so I don't really think KD would have made a difference, but... It adds fuel to the fire because, you know, all these, you know, all this started because of LeBron James. Now, if Giannis decides to do what KD did, then y'all can't be mad at him because he's doing what's, he's doing what's best for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not in his shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't tell him what to do because y'all not his parents, y'all not his friends. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just fans of his. You know what I'm saying? So if he decides to go to the Warriors, which if I had to put a percentage on it, I'll probably say I'm 70% sure he's going. And probably I'll probably say like he's 65, no, 55% staying. Because, you know, the Bucks, it looks like the Bucks don't want to help him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you need more than just Chris Middleton. Now, obviously, if 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 hypothetically speaking and I don't want to play the if game but if Anthony Davis cuz obviously Anthony Davis after this year is a free agent if Anthony Davis teams up with Giannis you still have Chris Middleton obviously and then you get some other key assets in the dra- in the draft or who wherever y'all y'all land in the draft and then obviously, you know what I'm saying, now you got Giannis, AD, and then Chris Middleton. And then obviously, you still got your, you know, role players. Will that be enough? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. So, there's a lot of talks that he might go to the Knicks, which I don't see that happening. You know, like, I would want that to happen, 
You know what I'm saying? But uh, realistically, that's not going to happen. So, you know, like I said again, with, with AD leaving the Lakers um, and obviously joining, possibly joining, you know, the, the Bucks or, or, or AD can make a two-way trip. He can either go to the Bucks or he could go to the Warriors. So now the Warriors have got Draymond Green, Steph Clay, Wiseman, and AD. Makes sense, right? So, but then again, you know, I mean, they're going to do everything and they, the Lakers are going to do everything in their power to lock him up. You know what I'm saying? Long term. You know, they might throw a four-year, five-year deal at him saying that to stay and they will, you know, uh, retool and regroup and stuff like that because obviously, you know, this, this whole season was a wash. So, you know, I'm not really expecting the Lakers to go far. They'll probably, they'll probably get past the first and second round, obviously. Uh, but the semifinals, I think they'll probably lose that to the Clippers. Clippers is going to wind up going to the playoffs. Whoever comes out the East, whether it's the the Bucks, the, the Sixers, the Raptors, which I don't highly doubt it, but... Uh, you know, so like I said, man, the East is wide open. So if the Knicks can get their stuff together, why not them? Or probably the Brooklyn Nets, even I hate saying their name, but obviously they would need a third star. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, like I said, it, or, or KD can, oh, not KD, Anthony Davis can go to the Nets. So now you got KD, Kyrie, and AD, and then you still got your piece, you still got your role pieces. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, there's just so many different scenarios that you know the the AD can go to. You can go to the Bucks, Warriors, Nets, or he could resign with the with the Lakers because this whole season was a wash for them. You know, like I said, they're not even going to go... F they'll, they'll go far, but they're not going to go to the finals. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to have to get past the the the, uh, the the Clippers. And I don't think they're going to... I don't think they're going to for seven games. So, uh, y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, you know, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Friday... I'll probably do four videos. I know I don't necessarily post, not post, but I don't necessarily upload a lot of, you know, ass compilations. Um, you know, I mean, I'll do that once a week, once every week, but I won't do that religiously. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how, you know, you know, that's how I lost, you know, a few subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not worrying about... I'm not necessarily worrying about losing subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to happen, you know? Um, but, you know, to do it once every week is not bad. Or probably twice every week, that's not bad. So I'll probably do it, like, twice every week and, you know, that'll be fine. But I'm not going to do it every single day because I got other stuff that I can upload, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, take care of yourself and each other.